Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Salesforce to Outlook in 2024. Of course, integrating Salesforce with Outlook can significantly improve your productivity by allowing you to manage, as example, your emails, contacts, and even calendars directly within Salesforce. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the steps to set up this integration. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser for me here, I'm using Brave for you, whatever you want. Make sure to both your accounts like Salesforce and Outlook. So go to the new tab or first tab, go to example to salesforce.com, go to the second tab and simply just type uh, so here we'll type Outlook. Of course, we'll need to go to the specific like Microsoft Outlook, but I'll just type Outlook. And it'll take me right here. I'll just click on that first link. And as you can see, I'll be taken to Outlook right away. So as you can see, on say, uh, says like a force. I don't know why it's in French. So I'll just go here and click on that or hover that. And I'll change that into English. Where is English? So yeah, all other countries English. So make sure to go and log in into your account if you have an account. If you don't have an account, basically just go and click on try it for free. For me, I'll just go here and hover login, click on Salesforce and log in into my account. As simple as that. Of course, as we said before, if you don't have an account, you can always click on try for free to create an, a new account. So the same will be basically for uh, Outlook. You'll need to go here and click on sign in to sign in your, into your account. If you don't have an account, you'll have to go and click on create a new account free. Then as you can see for Outlook here, I'll sign in into my account and for Salesforce, I'll basically have to do the same. I don't know if I remember like my things in here, but let me just go and fill up those informations. Uh, but I don't even remember my username. So I'll just go here and click on try it for free. I'll fill up the information from the beginning example and create a new account. Of course, each account that you created, you will get a 30 days free trial of the word lead in CRM and see how is it. So example, first name, I'll just fill up here some informations and then job title example, just enter here students, click on yes. And phone as example, so I guess it's like that. Okay, so they need, I guess, with the plus, but okay, so it's fine like that. The email, uh, of course, you can simply use as an example your uh, Outlook email right away. You can simply just go and get it from here, as you can see, or you can simply use another email as an example if you already created your account. For me, as an example, I'll just use this email right away to be connected with each other from the beginning. So here, just go here, as example, sorry. So test369h at out, as example, look.com. I give that the email that I have here. And yeah, and region, exactly that. For the company, I'll just name it test. And English, I agree to the main server agreement. And of course, I don't want to receive any marketing communication regarding Salesforce products, services, and etc. For you, you can simply do that. Then simply, you'll have to go and click on start my free trial. Once you do so, of course, your account should be created. So I don't know why it's not accepting to even click because there is nothing loading in here. Uh, so no obligation, no payment normally, no credit card required. I don't know why I cannot create my account. So I even use the VPN just in case maybe it's not working or something like that, but it seems like it's not working. Anyway, so basically, once you're logged into your Salesforce accounts, we don't even like, I don't even show you how to log in or something like that. So what's important, as you can see, once you are here on your Outlook, we'll need basically to install the Salesforce add in uh, or add on, of course, on Outlook. Once you open your Outlook, of course, like there's two, two options either you're going to use it on the web or you're going to use it, as an example, as an app. Of course, you'll be able to use this as an app, as an example. You can simply just go and download it and simply open it on your PC, as simple as that as an example so it's going to be like this in here so it's completely up to you use it on the web or use it as an app up to you as we said so we will need to go uh, on the app of course you can simply go to the home page uh, or home tab here once you go to the home tab you can simply and you should simply just go to this icon and click on it and as you can see you don't have any apps right now you can simply just go and click on it get add-ins once you click on that, as you can see, this page will load for you. And here you can simply just look for Salesforce as an example. So 
we will have of course uh yeah whatever like app can let you connect it with e each other of course you can simply just connect it of course or use it you can see if this velox as example uh do the thing that you want with your connection so whatever you want to connect salesforce in outlook with you can see the description if it's added or uh, the things that you want to uh, they want to have it of course you can see even the reviews you can see seven people giving it a uh, good if you didn't like it of course you can look for uh, something other than that so you can look for uh, other than other than this salesforce so of course you can even just go and click on uh, see all results and look for other ones example like the salesforce connector or this one as example salesforce directly you can simply just go and click on it if you like it you can simply just click on add as an example, let's just go and see. So as an example, once it's added, you can click on get started and start using it. They will show you exactly how, uh, uh, as an example, what's gonna do this connection with each other. As you can see, so this ad might function diff differently depending on how your access is. You can access it with add-ins, as an example. So you can simply just go and click in here and you'll be able to access it as they said, and you should be good to go. I, and if you don't wanna, of course, use it on like, or if you don't have the app, you just wanna use the, a web option you can simply go to this left panel click on here this icon as you can see and wait where's add add-ins so if it's not here wait let me just uh, i know like a, a thing that's work for sure so just go and open outlook again i'll just go here and click on files yeah manage add-ins in here and this no i don't want to use it no 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 i don't want to use it. like yeah so and here as an example once uh it's uh, once you click on that option so you go to outlook so you click on file and you can click on manage add-ins this will open basically for you uh, microsoft edge but if you choose the option that i just choose uh, they will take you to your main browser there basically you'll have to look again for salesforce as an example and you basically go and do the same so see all results find it right there click on it and simply click on add and it should be added right away you can simply start using it without any problems you can simply pin it, of course, or unpin it, and yeah, you should be good to go. So it's added right now. It's connected with each other. You can simply start using it. But how to access add-ins from here? I didn't, I don't actually know exactly how. So normally it's this one, but I don't know why. So let me just go and sales like Salesforce as an example. So yeah, there's nothing. Uh, of course, like I just want to check if there's the, the add-in because it should be a button for add-ins, but I don't know where to find it exactly. But basically, if you want to access it, as an example, you can go here and click on manage add-in. They will always take you right there and you should be good to go. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. So goodbye.